credit. We welcome all the dignitaries, our esteemed teachers, beloved parents, fellow mates, friends, family, and all others online. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. The investiture ceremony is one of the momentous occasions of the school. When the newly elected members of the school senate are officially vested with their powers and positions. The students of today are the visionaries and torch bearers of tomorrow. When they develop personality, skill and mind, we will become human beings with great leadership quality. Truly said, here we implement in reality what we learn. I agree. So every year, we are pulling on the student community and it's indeed collectively electing a member who is elected under the guidance of the head faculties of our school who jointly work to adapt to the good values of life. Prayer is the beginning and the end, the source and the fruit, the core and the content, the basis and goal of all peacemaking. So let me call upon Saudantika of Grade 3A for the devotional prayer song. The fragrance of flowers spread one in the direction of them, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Amid such being the inspiring personality, Mr. P. Kalikadraman, MSc M. Full Beer, Deputy Superintendent of Police, Koval Party. Hearty welcome to you, sir. We are very fortunate to have him as a chief guest. Next, we take this opportunity to welcome our guest of honor, Mr. O. Rajaram. Become Municipality Commissioner Kovil Patti. Hearty welcome, sir. Our correspondent, sir, and correspondent, ma'am, who has been a strong pillar of support and founder of our school. Hearty welcome, sir, and ma'am. Next, I extend a warm welcome over our senior principal, sir, and principal, ma'am, and also vice principal, ma'am, who is always ready to offer best learning environment for students. Welcome, sir, and ma'am. Next, I extend a inclusive welcome to our dear teaching and non-teaching staffs who is the reason behind our success. Welcome dear teachers. Last but not least, I also welcome my dear friends and my respective parents. Welcome dear friends and parents. Thanks of the immense level of propensity to all the luminaries. Once again, we welcome you all. Welcome. Thank you Stephanie Arul 
When the invocation descends into the heart, if there is darkness inside, it illuminates it. If there is already light, it increases the light and intensifies it. So here comes Manibala Great AK for the invocatory dance. You are a leader if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, and do more, and become more. With this wonderful quote, I wish you all a wonderful day today. Today, I am here to address the students those who have been elected and to celebrate this investiture ceremony. This is a wonderful day for the students who have been elected. Definitely the others who have competed and might have not been selected also. You will one day turn out to be leaders if you have an aspiration. What I would like to say today is about the five C's a leader must have. The first one is character of a person. A character will build a personality. Character is a very important vital quality a leader must have. A leader with a good character will turn out to be a good leader. So, whoever becomes a leader should have a good character. And this character will definitely make the leader to commit himself or herself towards the leadership that has been taken by that particular person. So, once you are committed to the leadership that you have taken up, you will be encouraged and your courage will become greater level. So, you will have all the more courage to face the reality, to face the problems and to solve the problems. The more that you are courageous, you will turn out to be best of your ability in your confidence. So confidence is the fourth C a leader should have. 
confidence is an essential part of a leader which will lead the leader towards every success and once you develop confidence definitely the fifth c which we talk about is communication you will be able to communicate all the leadership qualities and all the leadership abilities with your people with whom you deal with and you will inspire them to be leaders so my dear students as we celebrate this investiture ceremony i invite all of you to follow this five c's in the leadership that you are taking up and i want every student to become the best of yours becoming a leader in wells vidyalaya for this year and elsewhere and everywhere in the years to come so i wish you all all the best on this day as you enjoy your day as we celebrate the investiture ceremony thank you